Welcome to Cinco de Mayo. Yeah, it is the 5th of May. And welcome to Shop For My Garage. And we are gonna be working on this Ford F-150 today. Uh, we're gonna be pulling the engine out. We finally got it out here in the shop and we're gonna start working on it and uh, get the engine out. Uh, Hector is somewhere around there. I think he went to go get some coffee. But uh, today, um, don't know exactly how far we're gonna get, but we will be pulling the engine out today. Eventually we'll be um, tearing the engine down and seeing seeing what's going on. Maybe we can rebuild it or, or what. But first, we need to get this engine out. So if you haven't seen uh, the first video on this truck, uh, I'm, I'll go ahead and I'll uh, put a link up here in the top so you can check it out and see uh, what it's all about. It's the introduction to this truck. It's a short video. Uh, you might want to watch that one first before you watch this one. So let's get another look at this truck. Uh, it's definitely been resprayed and you know, it has a lot lots of imperfections in it um areas where you know it looks like people had runs and then they tried to repair it um and you know it's got dents and stuff probably bondo and and everything like that um but overall it's still a really good vehicle and uh we are going to pull this thing out so here's the plan we're gonna get this out that's it. <laughs> there is no plan. I'm gonna get this out of here and um, we'll just go from there. And it's, um, it's school time finally with this thing. So let's get that done right now. Example. So I've got uh, what are you doing? a couple vacuum lines here, but you also have like one. I'm here. learning how to make and a pancake. I'm trying to figure out how to <laughs> take this engine out. <laughs> so, um, it's not that big of a deal. Um, precautionary measures. Me and Hector together have probably replaced a thousand engines. So just never done one on one of these. I mean, you done one, you one done a thousand, right? <laughs> so just trying to figure out the best way, to, you know, pull the hood off, pull the front clip off, take the front bumper off. Oh. Move the engine and transmission together or what so um youtube channels you know it helps you figure out how to do things <laughs> this guy's doing a whole lot of yapping and not a lot of removing so let's get started So we are going to be draining the engine. We're going to have to drain the transmission. We'll drive the gas out. And of course, get the torque converter bolts. We're going to attempt to pull the transmission out with the engine, uh, along with everything else. This is our first look underneath here. And there is there's a lot of rust. It's not bad. A lot of surface rust. That's paint. Paint. I painted it that way. <laughs> okay, so start pulling this drive shaft out and start draining the fluids.
This bolt stripped way. What size is it? Strip side. Let me see. 19. Oh. Is it stripped or can you tighten it? Let me see. No, I'm putting it on. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, it ain't going on now. <laughs> Where did it go? <laughs> it's right there. It's fine. See? Okay, let me try and put it on now. It's stripped. Oh, wait. wait we better put the... Oh, oh yeah, yeah. You don't want it to leak? No, no leaking. Put it on, put it on tight. <laughs> Wait. Is it tight yet? Ah, it's tight. Hey, that's good enough. <laughs> Only five minutes in, and it's ready to come out. I think maybe we should disconnect the battery. Just in case. We need about safety here. <laughs> It's about fun. <laughs> yeah, just test it. <laughs> Wait, let me. What? Wait, is it these two? That is loose. See, ain't no juice. Okay. a lot of force I'm using. Here's another. Oops. Oh, I take a picture away. <laughs> what the heck is going on with this thing? You broke it. One more. One more. Look, I can do it too. I know it's real tight. <laughs> okay. okay. Well, we should probably get the torque converter bolts out and drop the pan, drain the okay. fluid. Do we even have room? I have a I mean, yeah, if we pull the transmission out, then, well, uh, yeah, we're gonna have to, have to move the cross, disconnect the cross member anyway. So we're gonna pull the transmission out separately. Yeah, I think that'd be a whole lot easier. Just dropping the transmission. That's the wrong size. And um, then pulling the engine out. Okay. What do you think? Yep. I think it I think it'd be better. So taking uh, the, start. taking this thing off? Yeah. Well, just about that. Probably I think we have the transmission jack over here, I could be wrong. Kemper was doing a transmission uh, this week. 
these are going to be an issue because the, the bolts come down from the top. So if these could just be loosened, mm -hmm. and then these taken out, we might be able to, you know, Shimmy. slide the bottom. Jimmy it way. Yeah. Jimmy. size. <laughs> okay, I'll pull the torque converter bolts out. Do it. What is this? Um, no, it's over by Gilbert Stall, I think. By the, uh, yeah. <laughs> by the jack stand. Blockuses of woodises, and I see it not. Yet I still strive to push on. It's getting harder, harder to see, harder to breathe. Yet I push on, looking for more signs of woodises, blockuses of woodises. Hey, where is it, way? It should be right there. Uh, uh, I get a whole bunch over in my thoughts and just bring something. You can have it. Hmm. It's right here, we I told you it's by the jack stand. Uh, by the death pan? Yeah. <laughs> well, no wonder I'm trying to stay away from the death pan.
behind you. Look at that. Ooh, it's not too bad. I mean, there's, there's a bunch of junk in there, but this is what you really want to worry about. It's not really that bad. <laughs> How do I move it down? Do I just turn it? Oh yeah. There we go. Let's get still up there. And I'm just draining it just to, so it doesn't drain all over the floor, pulling it out. So back on. I figured it it did it out. With the stream light. Watch. What are you doing? See this stream light? See this right here? It's all it doesn't fit on my head because it's stretched out. And it smells like it's been on somebody's head for a year and they haven't washed it. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why. It's really, really stinky. But I ordered another one, but it hasn't come in yet. But this one right here, this is for putting over a helmet, so it's rubber, so it might be uncomfortable. But it'll still work. All right. I think you'll figure it out how to put this on there. It'll work. It works. Come on, finger. <laughs> no. <laughs> So here's the trimmer. Here's the torque converter that uh, Hector was talking about. So it's not really that dirty on the inside. It's got a lot of dirt and stuff on the outside. We're gonna clean this all up. Uh, but next, uh, we get the trim, get this uh, engine out. Probably need to drain the coolant. Squeeze the juice. Squeeze in the juice. <laughs> Bring it down. You don't want to double check? I want to check. Just double it. <laughs> you check it, but double it. Double the check. <clears throat> you sure there's not a way to get these lines off and down here? Oh no, I see where they connect up there. But it might be easier from down here rather than on the bike. So or that's going to take a special... Have you ever pulled one of those off? Nope. It takes a special tool, which I have. Mm -hmm. Trying to get it from up here. Probably just lower it enough to where we can reach. I guess you... Right. Yeah, try and... Uh, just bring it down a little bit. Let me go get that... Grab that tool. This oh, just popped off. 
This is, this is the wrong size. It was the same, right size for the other one. So now I go one more size down. Very difficult. Trying to see what you're doing. Oh yeah, that one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What are you doing, wait? <laughs> <laughs> you got it? <laughs> it's not loose, but I did get the tool in there. Is it thunder? Thundering? Raining again? No, I think that's the truck moving. It's, it's kind of going in, but it ain't getting loose. <laughs> yeah, tell him, wait, they don't know what you're doing. Oh. Trying to take the thing off. Let me go back to the third one. <laughs> Let's see if uh, maybe this one, this one fit the other one. It seems like it's too small for this one. Yeah, it's not popping in. I can feel that the bottom one went in. The top one, the top part of it's not going. So I just have to pull it back out. Uh, so, this is one of them. So, it has a spring in there. You stick this on the thing and you push it in and it pushes that spring out and then it releases from the other side and it can pop out. And I'm getting it, and I got one side to pop in like that, but this other side, it won't go in. That's what I'm dealing with up there. This is how you hold the battery down in the, the ranch of Laredo. Old style. <laughs> Was it the ranches of Laredo? Yeah. Texas yes. style. Tex-Mex hold down. Got the go handle on it. Say now it's a good battery. I mean, I think you still, you still need the light. It's plastic. Can you pass me? Oh, it's good. Ow. How's the view now? <laughs> That's a Lone Star State plate. Ice plate under there. It's a fan shroud repair kit, Lone Star license plate. Can you take it out now?
Okay, now we got the engine out. We got it on the engine stand and we can uh, start pulling all of the accessories and everything off of it. And uh, we get the intake plenum and just everything off of the top so we can pull the intake gasket or intake manifold off and exhaust manifold and we we'll just get everything all tore down the bare bones. Okay, so we finally got this intake manifold off and we can inspect the inside and it does look like this uh, engine does have a uh, roller cam and uh, roller lifters and you can see by this uh, plate on the inside that uh, I call that the spider plate and it holds these, uh, these little brackets in the side and those hold the lifters and keep them from rotating. You don't want lifters rotating whenever uh, they're roller lifters so because they just roll onto the cam. So uh, these uh, roller, these rockers, uh, they're uh, torqued to spec so uh, there is no adjustment. Uh, so let's, let's get these heads off.
I was just waiting on you. <laughs> Test check. Yeah, it's working. So, uh, got some of these out. This bearing looks. Uh, yeah, it's got it's got quite a bit of wear. Crank don't look that bad though. But look at that. Yeah, that one because this bearing came off. <laughs> Stuck in there. <laughs> well, we'll pull all these out and then we'll look at it and see see what we got. So these are the main bearings that are on the block. The ones that we found the, on the caps, those were all worn down. Uh, yeah, something is definitely holding this cam jack in. You want to flip it over? Yeah. You can see the wear inside the cylinders. Yeah, definitely. You can really see the wear in the cylinders. It's the same as on those uh, piston skirts. Yeah. You got, oh yeah, excuse me. You know, straight down. The same thing up here. I don't know what's holding the camera. Yeah, you want to pick? There's something in there. I mean, honestly, I don't, I don't know Ford very well. I know GM and. GM, this camshaft should come out. But I don't know if they have something in there that's keeping it from coming out. That's what it sounds like. So here's the crank. And there's definitely a ridge in between each main, each, I mean each uh, rod. And we got wear on the piston skirts, pretty good. Um, it doesn't really look that bad. It just looks like it's more worn out than, than anything. Here's the thrust bearing. You can see how it's, it's all the way down to the brass, copper or whatever you call it right there, both sides. And every single one of these, every single one of these mains, there's your rear main right there. It's pretty bad. Worn. Not really scored, just worn. Like, that's pretty much everything's here. Like a, a old worn engine. Uh, it's one of the 
one of the rod bearings is the same way. So <coughs> now Hector needs to decide what he wants to do with this. That's the big question, isn't it? <laughs> I think that um, we need to, I mean, if you're gonna rebuild this, I mean, we'd have to measure these cylinders, but I don't know if uh, honing up is gonna be good enough. They, we may need to bore them, which means we need new pistons. Mm -hmm. um, and heck, if you're gonna do that, we might as well go with uh, high performance hits, uh, high performance cam. I mean, uh, why not? Yeah. So, we'll see. See what Hector decides to do. <laughs> yep. It all depends on what's in the budget. Yeah. I'll have to look around and see what, uh, what prices are going to be like and stuff and then go from there. I'm still trying to figure out how to take this cam out. <laughs> I don't see anything holding it. Okay, so there you have it, guys. Um, we Today we pulled this engine out, we pulled the transmission out, and uh, we pulled the uh, engine, completely tore the engine down to the bare bones, and now it's just a matter of, um, you know, what what are we going to do from here on and uh gonna have to take some measurements make some decisions yep All right so i've been measuring these cylinders on this thing trying to see what you know what if the things wore out of course you know i ain't got the best tool in the world uh stick this thing down into the cylinder bore like that and you loosen this up and uh, you get the reading, you tighten it up and then you bring it out. And then what I've been doing is sticking it in here to get the measurement. And the biggest measurement I get is on this cylinder, I believe on the right bank, this is uh, cylinder number two, I believe. And I got a reading of 4.008, which according to the specs that I found, uh, cylinder bore diameter is supposed to be uh, 4.0004 to 4.0052 and 4.006 or 4.008 is it, it's out. It's uh, uh, too much. It's out of um, out of the standard limit. Um, I haven't seen a lot in, as far as uh, in taper and. Um, and uh, out of roundness so uh, of course it's hard for me to make that assessment with this tool right here um, and this is the best tool that I have at the moment um, but I do believe that this engine it's not bad it really isn't bad it does need to go to a machine shop and probably get bored of course I would uh, let the machine shop do their own measurements and figure that out. But of course, that's going to be up to uh, Hector to decide uh, what he wants to do with this uh, engine or if uh, he wants to uh, get a higher performance engine or, or a crate engine or, or who knows, or maybe we'll just build one. Um, but it's going to be up to him and we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, and uh, when that happens, I, I will let you know. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button because we're going to come back with more of this and we're going we're gonna to figure something out. So we're going to get an engine in that thing. And we're going to get it running and we're going to get it running better, better than it was before. I guarantee it. So um, for Shop Farmer Garage, Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.